Let's, let's talk, uh, let's talk white women here, shall we? Let's talk white women, white women, you're amazing. Amazing your accomplishments over the last few years. I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, generals around the world should be analyzing this. Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. I don't know how they did it. I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. My leg is so hard eh, with my SUV and my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Trashing white guys. The nerve, where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. Let me, I don't, listen, I don't want to speak ill of my bitches here, okay? I don't, but let's, let's go back in history here, okay? You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood muddy, and occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with the black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to. <laughs> Thank you. So, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. <laughs> Fucking worse. It's all I do is bitch mode and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. Evidently, it's it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, they're always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> What happened to you today, sweetheart, huh? Did they not chill your rosé? You know? Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? Sorry to separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The fuck are you talking about? What you fucking whining? Look, right out of the gate, all right? If you fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt, all right, I can listen to you. Now, one of my fantasies is I want to drive by like a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of just to watch them lose their minds. And I'll just drive by real slow and be like, yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> <laughs> just to look in the rearview mirror, watching them fly, <laughs> flipping out in the road, spinning around like Leatherface at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a very, uh, I don't know. Times are changing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Michelle Obama's doing an arena tour. That's another thing going on. I'm going to say that again. Michelle Obama <laughs> is doing an arena tour. She's not playing comedy clubs. She's doing arenas. When did first ladies start acting like they got elected? You know? Dude, being a first lady, that's not a fucking job. Right? Look how quiet is it in here. Why is it so fucking quiet? You think that's a job? It's not a fucking job. Dude, if you really think it's a job, just look at him. Right? Look at Obama. When that guy got elected, he looked like he was about 41 years old. When he left office, that guy looked like he was about 73. Right? Look at Michelle. She looks younger now than she did when that dude got elected. What has she done for the last eight years? 
Yeah, other than laying a giant vat of Illuminati level lotion, just sit there floating. A couple hours, a shapeshifter comes in and dumps another bucket on her. More, more lotion. She pops her head up. Hey, Bam Bam, tell Stevie Wonder to come down and play some songs tonight. <laughs> now, I found out she's doing a tour because uh, she's doing a book tour. Yeah, she wrote a book. She wrote a book about not having a job. <laughs> I gotta read that fucking book. Chapter one, how to know if a dick tastes presidential. How to weed your way through all that local representative cock and get to the big swinging dick in the room. Say what you want about Republican presidents, but they got their first ladies in line. <laughs> they do. Dude, George W. was president for eight years. Eight years. I don't even know his wife's name. <laughs> what was it, Abigail or some shit? Maggie? No clue. <laughs> Donald Trump's wife stands behind him like a giant meerkat, like... <laughs> Bill Clinton was president, his wife never shut up. Ah, I want to do health care! Ah! He fucked around on her so much, he's like, all right, whatever, just do it. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out that fucking tour. I gotta see what that's all about, you know? Who opens? Who opens on that fucking tour? Was it Oprah Winfrey's husband, you know? <laughs> Does he fucking come out and talk about what it's like to walk her dogs? Dude, I see his, and I gotta bring him around. Look, I'm sure that there's some uh, feminists in the crowd right now not appreciating this joke, feeling triggered, feeling like they need to fucking put out a hashtag or some shit and be brave and speak out. You know what? You're full of shit. You are. All, all those feminists are full of shit. Because I'm going to tell you right now, someday, someday, there's going to be, there's going to be the first woman president. All right? Which means, which means, you don't even know what, you don't even know what a fucking platform is, and you automatically cheer. <laughs> ah, ah, it's got the same genitalia. Ah. <laughs> fucking. I'm telling you, they're not smart people. Feminists, they're, they're not as smart as they're coming off. I'm telling you. Someday, there's gonna be... By the way, this is gonna be my last show ever by the time this fucking thing comes out. Someday, there's gonna be the first female president, which means there's gonna be the first male... In the darkness of the night, a flicker starts to glow. A beacon in the shadows a light that starts to flow illuminating pathways where once there was despair in the depths of obscurity hope begins to flare like a flame in the wind i ignite from within casting rays of brilliance banishing the din with each step i take i brighten up the way in the realm of shadows i become the day i'm the light in the darkness spark in the night guiding lost souls towards the morning light through the tunnels of uncertainty i'll be the guide for i am the bearer of hope in me dreams reside in the labyrinth of life where shadows dance and play i'm the ray of sunshine turning night into day with every glimmer i cast i unveil the unseen in the tapestry of existence, I'm the golden sheen. From the darkest corners to the highest peak, I'm the radiant glow that even shadows seek. With every flicker, every beam I emit, I just
dispel the darkness I never submit I'm the light in the darkness The spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me Dreams reside In the symphony of life I'm the crescendo's rise In the canvas of the universe I paint the skies So let the darkness tremble Let the shadows flee For in the heart of radiance I'll always be I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light First lady, right? <laughs> and you wait, you fucking wait The first time that dude opens these feminists throwing me You shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! It is her time now! It is her time! She was elected, not you! Go pick out some plates, bitch! You are the first lady. <laughs> He's gonna get treated like Tom Arnold when he was with Roseanne. <laughs> Secret service name will be like appendix or doesn't matter. Not worthy of protecting, just entered the Oval Office, not worthy of protecting. <laughs>